So hi, I'm Gouda, and I'm here to show you how to calculate your whole DPS. So after the last couple of videos, I've gone over um, how to calculate increased, how to calculate uh, more damage, how to calculate um, multiple sources of damage, so each have their own little damage track, their own little increases, um, how to calculate converted damage, so if you have converted damage, it gets benefits from everything that it gets along the way for its conversion. Um, and then I have... Uh, multiple step conversions, so like if you had f uh, physical damage converted to fire, and then fire being converted to chaos, um, did that as well. Finally, uh, the end is how to calculate your like tooltip DPS, or your effective damage per second, if that's what you're really looking for. So, this is just a little example, it uses resolute technique, so no crits and no accuracy. Um, so. And once again, it's pretty much the same as what I went over previously. It's just found all your increases for each specific damage source, multiply them together, get your total increase to multiplier, at which point you multiply by all the other things that are multipliers that account for each part of those sources of damage. <coughs> so for instance, fire damage gets the weapon elemental damage gem, uh, physical damage gets the melee physical damage gem, but the converted damage gets both of those. And then you get the full multiplier for each part and then you get the uh, final damage for each part multiplied by the attack speed this is your final DPS for each part uh, the way you calculate attack speed is simply adding together all the increases and then multiplying by the base attack speed so multiply all the, or add all these together and multiply that total increased by the base and since we're using the multi-strike gem in this example uh, which gives an attack speed multiplier that attack speed is again being multiplied by that amount, which gives our final attack speed of around 8.2, which then gets multiplied by the damage per hit, which then gives our tooltip DPS. So this example uses resolute technique, but what if we didn't get resolute technique? Well, we'd have a DPS loss from accuracy. So if we counted for, say we had 80% chance to hit, uh, the DPS with accuracy would be about 20% less, as expected and we would have a DPS loss. But since we aren't using Resolute Technique, the that also gives the ability to do a critical hit. So you wouldn't take Resolute Technique in the, if you happen to be able to counter the DPS loss from accuracy by having the critical hit damage portion of, the, uh, of your attacks um, counter this loss from accuracy. So here's the stock format with crit that I drew up. So, First off, there's a couple more things calculated out here. There's the attack speed, which has been calculated out for our final attacks per second. There's the crit chance that's been calculated out, so we have increased crit chance, which is added together, which gives our total increased crit chance, which is then multiplied by the base crit chance. Uh, this, this example uses a cleave attack with a one-handed sword. Um, and then we can also account for the crit weakness curse. So we have a way to enable that in the spreadsheet. And then we have the base crit multiplier. The base crit multiplier for all things is 150%. I don't know if there's a way to change that. There might be a unique in the future that could change the base crit multiplier. But as far as I know, the base crit multiplier is and always will be 150%. Which is why some things are really, really strange. Like if you get 100% increased critical strike multiplier, you end up with 300% base crit multiplier. So we can account for that. Is this correct? I don't think this is correct. I forgot to account for something. Hmm. One plus that. Oh wait, that's that's correct. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, that's where it gets accounted for. So the increased total critical strike multiplier. And then we're multiplying that by the base crit multiplier, which gives us a total crit multiplier of six point nine. So or six hundred and ninety percent. Um, and then we can follow it down. We're using a chance to hit of 0.8 and um, yeah, so that's where all those nodes come from, or all those numbers. So with crit, it's calculated exactly how it was before, so it's the same calculation all the way down, so yada 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 yada, until you get down to about here. So this is the non-crit DPS, so if we never landed a crit, um, this is what the DPS would be, and it's exactly the same as if we had Resolute Technique. We haven't accounted for accuracy yet, but say if we were attacking and we never landed a crit, if we just got like a really, really bad crit streak, um, this is what the DPS would effectively be in that scenario. 
but then you multiply that by the chance to not crit because sometimes we crit and if we do then we don't use this DPS number and then we multiply by the um, chance to miss so we got a final non crit DPS around that so this is the non crit portion of it um, and then we have our crit damage portion which is this whole section right here so we have our non crit damage and we're going to multiply, so this is taking into account if we landed a crit on that attack. So we have the non-crit damage, which is the same. We're multiply that, multiplying that by the crit strike multiplier. So we have 6.9 multiplier, which gives us our critical hit damage. And then that's simply being calculated exactly as before. So we have uh, the crit damage being multiplied, the attack speed being, um, so that gives our crit DPS. So this number right here is actually kind of important. Because, say, if we landed a whole bunch of critical hits in a row, because, you know, sometimes that's just how the odds work, say, if you have a 50% chance to crit, uh, you might do 10 attacks in a row where you get no crits, and, or you might do 10 attacks in a row that are all crits. Um, you know, both possibilities are able to happen. And, say, if we got a really good lucky streak, that's what our DPS would be, which is pretty absurd. Or, potentially, if we got a diamond shrine, which gives a 100% chance to, of getting a critical strike. But because we don't get critical strikes all the time, that's multiplied by our chance to crit, which is 35%, multiplied by the chance to hit, which is 0.8, which gives this final DPS number of around 10,000. So um, this is why going for crits is a really easy way of boosting the damage a lot. Because if you get a pretty, you know, a pretty low amount of uh, critical hit or critical damage um, and a pretty decent amount of critical hit rate. Um, it makes it a lot better than going Resolute Technique. And you can actually see the effects, so this has 13,000 DPS, this build has 5,000. It would be a lot easier to do a build with these sort of values, instead of these sort of values, this would be like a really late game build, but it would be possible to boost the damage up a lot more by going with critical hits. And you can see how much the Crit Weakness Curse can affect um, this tooltip DPS down at the bottom. So this would be the tooltip DPS. If you use the crit weakness curse, the tooltip would not be able to account for that because it's not something that's affecting your character, it's affecting another character. So if we turn on the crit weakness curse, if we were using it, um, you could see the damage boost by around 10,000 DPS, which makes it stronger than pretty much any other curse you could possibly use for this crit-based character. And that's why the critical weakness gem is so strong for crit-based characters why there's pretty much no other curse that's better for that specific type of character. Um, so yeah, that's um, how you calculate damage all the way through. Um, the damage calculations get a little bit messy, but you know, effectively it's not more than a tiny little bit of a spreadsheet. Like, this isn't this much work, and you can... I'll provide a link to the spreadsheet in the uh, link in the description. Um, and then you can save your own copy and modify it as you see fit. Um, so yep, I am Gouda and I'll see you next time.